what up, everybody? Okay, Norn Red is here with a very special episode tonight. You know what I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to play my own game. I'm going to be playing the game that I've been making the music for. I mean, it's not technically my game, but it's the game I've been making the music for. God damn, that's awesome. I've never been able to do that before. The game's not out yet, so this is a special demo meant for influencers. So, prepare to be influenced, everybody. Like Charles Xavier. What are you doing to my mind, Lilandra? Ah. Alright, uh, guys, this is gonna be fun. For those that don't know, Prison City is basically an NES style game. Very much in the vein of Power Blade, Shatterhand, Batman, and the rest. <clears throat> and so, uh, you know, just it just so happens that I've been friendly with the uh, developer on the internet for quite a while. And uh, it started out as a game jam. A little tiny game jam that I whipped up all these songs for really quick. Ah! Like game jams are, you know? And then uh, uh, it ended up spilling out into a whole game and I ended up getting the bid. They're like, Rad, we need you. We need you to make more music for this game. Hell yeah. This is like one of the first times uh, I've been able to work on a project, uh, like an NES project where it's like, I'm just in tune with this type of action game. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, I know exactly what you guys are looking for. Hell yeah. We're gonna play it. So this is just a message for everyone who might be watching this sometime in the future in the VOD, in the archive, on YouTube. Love every one of you guys. Stick around. Remember to sub to this channel. Speaking of subbing, this YouTube channel. The button's down there, buddy. It's up to you. All I can do is get you to the door. You have to walk through it, all right? Otherwise you get socked in the mouth by a deranged lunatic. And I don't wanna have to do that, because then I'll go to jail. All right, well, there'll be no going to jail tonight. All right, we got it all taken care of. Now we gotta let the livesters filter in, all right? Remember, this is a live show. You guys are the legends watching in the archive, but we're about to uh, air live to a bunch of rascals. I need to give them some time to scoot on in on their sick Razor scooters. Uh, but so give me at least five minutes. We're gonna get this going on, and then uh, we're gonna get out of our mind. Yeah, it sounds like a great time. Let's have a great show tonight, everyone, and break. Standing by. All right, I gotta do some social media stuff real quick. Just let people know I'm going live. Let them know what I'm doing. Letting them know I'm all right, you know? All right, we're gonna tweet about it. Currently tweeting about it now. Boom. Shaboom. Got it, now I'm gonna go to Facebook about it right now so my mom can watch me do this. Love you, mom. Boom. Now I gotta let all my Discorders know. Oh, Dan, get the hell out of here. Not tonight. Not during this special episode of the show. All right, all right, all right, all right. Gotta let my own Discord know. These are my boys. Well, majority. I, actually, I don't think there's a single lady in my Discord. I can say my boys. Ladies, get on over that Discord. Come on. Prove me wrong, ladies. It's waiting for you to prove me wrong right now. We have fun, huh? Be prepared for a lot of nipple hair talk, you know. For real guys, Discord server. My nipple hair keeps tickling me! Come on! I know, see, these are the problems you have. These are the problems I have to prepare my son for. You wanna ask, son? When you turn 14, you're gonna get some nipple hairs and you're gonna itch you nonstop. Watch out, buddy! But you must not cut them! You must let them grow and flourish. Why don't you have any girl viewers? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're, uh, I'm gonna do extra Discord stuff tonight. I don't always do that, but I'm gonna do it tonight. Boom. Hold on. Dan, I'm sick of your damn attitude. Uh, hold on. Why don't I, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna listen to some hot jams right here, right now from the game. God damn it, check this out. Oh, man! It's a special sneak preview of the, God damn, God damn it! Final boss track, the very game we're gonna play, but don't you, don't, don't tell anyone, all right? Don't tell anyone, God damn it. Actually, you know what, I don't wanna spoil it for everyone. Anyone who might be watching that in the archive might be like, what the God damn hell, you spoiled it for me! 
Instead, we'll listen to one of these. All right, here's a hot jam. Hot jam from this very game. No, I don't want bandy cam open. Jesus Louises. Close it! All right, so here's the uh, basic breakdown for what I, you know, while you guys are, wait, you know, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll wait until the livesters get in here. I, I forgot, I forgot what I'm doing. I'm posting to Discord. Letting everyone in the Discord know we're getting out of our mind tonight. Get the hell out of here, Dan! All right, uh, I know it is Friday, you know, there's probably a lot of people going like, ah, oh, what the hell? I don't play. I don't goddamn play. Sorry, there's livesters here right now. I don't even, goddamn, oh, it's just Vale scooting in here. Good to see you, Vale. I always forget to call me first when I'm literally am first. Dogen never leaves my chat, and he never leaves my side. All right, I'm going to let Retro Island Gaming know, even though he probably doesn't know I exist. I'm still going to let him know. And his community. Spam much, Rad? Yeah. What's it to you? All right, uh, with this other, uh, let, let them all know. Everyone's knowing tonight. The boss battle. All right, it was a little Batman inspired. You know, all I did was like, I didn't reference the Batman boss theme at all. I just knew, hey, Batman's boss theme was bitey. I want this thing to bite you. Arr, arr, arr. Oh, watch out. This boss battle's biting me again and tickling my fanny. That's the sign of a good boss battle right there. Shaboom! Shaboom! Alright, we're gonna let Yong Street know about it, even though he probably just went live himself. I'm, am I the only one that, I feel like the when you go to Discord and you post to other people's Discord, where they're going live, you're really just telling them. Don't forget about me! I'm going live. Oh, and that was Asteroid Blues doing the that'll play. Welcome in, Asteroid Blues. We're getting out of our mind tonight, buddy. You know it. You goddamn know it. All right. Well, hopefully the game actually works on my machine. I only tested it for a split second, but I'm fully prepared for Dan to just come in here and just dump all over everything. Oh, are you trying to network and have a good time and showcase this game all at once? Not while I'm around, buddy. Oh, come on, man. Another hot jam from a level that I don't think is in this demo, but that's fine. Square window getting in here, buddy! <laughs> Living in the prison city. You know what you got where all the action is. God damn it, let's get in there now. Welcome in everyone. Double subscribe notification. Boom, 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 boom. Click it. Click it. Click it! Click it! All right, Prison City tonight, everyone. All right, all right, now, and now I can talk about uh, my philosophy for the game music here. Now, for those that don't know, I've been making chipping music for the last 20 years. Started out as a fun little hobby, uh, and then I got the call. About 12 years into my hobby, I got the big call um, from the Retro City Rampage developer saying like, uh, hey, do you want to make some music for this game? Because we were in the same city. Um, and I was like, what the? Frick, is this, because they sent me a message on my MySpace account. They said, hey buddy, you want to come over here and make some music for our game? And MySpace was already like two years gone at that point. Like, what the hell did you just say to me? I would never ever in my life want to respond to this. This, is, this has got to be spam, right? Turns out, no, it was a real offer. Uh, and that was my intro into game music and the game music, or the game industry, frankly. That was my first project. Um, and so from that point on, I've always, I've had a lot of chiptune projects. NES is my specialty. And I've been doing NES uh, specialized chiptune for a very, very, very long time. Um, I just really like the uh, the sound chip. It's a very pure sound chip. You know what? It's like Street Fighter 2. What a pure fighting game, right? They didn't introduce a bunch of extra BS. It was balanced, all right? All right, so NES was balanced. That's how I fe uh, feel about it anyways. But after 20 years of writing NES chiptunes, I feel like I've said everything I need to say. I've said a lot. Uh, that was before I started this project. When we got the call, to do this project, Prison City, I was like, I don't know, man, I might be tapped, I might be out of juice. Um, but I felt like, uh, I felt like there was more to say once I started working on the project. There is a lot more to say, but I wanted to do one thing different. I didn't just want to write normal NES chiptunes like I always do. So what I did with uh, the songs you've been hearing here, um, 
I would write the NES chiptune straight up like I normally would, and then I'm adding each one of the uh, channels into Cubase, and then adding the MIDI over from my actual project file. Um, and I start to uh, add extra synths to it. Now, right now, all I'm doing is adding synths that would have been found on the NES expansion chip. Now, historically, I've said I don't like the NES expansion chip, but you know what? I just didn't want to have to use uh, Fami Tracker, which is what most people would use. I just didn't want to use it. I don't like it as a tracker. I don't think I even really like trackers, but I use a tracker to write these chiptunes. Now, I will be playing the game tonight, but I will also be interspersing in uh, actual my project files from the tracker uh, that I use to write all this music. So you guys will be able to play the game, get hit with the music, it'll be all over the place. Fanny Tracker. <laughs> That's right. Track down those fannies anywhere. Hey, hey! There's a fanny over there. Guys, uh, are you prepared to get out of your minds? Because I have my Diet Pepsi caffeine free, ready to rock. That's how you know I like to party my balls off. Oh man. Here's to getting out of your mind. Oh, the bubbles! The bubbles, they're burning my tongue. Oh, God. It's the smoothest beverage money can buy. Sick as frick. Smooth as frick. Fresh as frick. All right, I was jammed to the Prison City tunes uh, when Stealthy Golem was playing it last night. Exactly, yeah, we were... I didn't even know there was a demo for this game uh, until... Uh, wait, I don't even have the chat open. Boom! Chatters! Uh, sorry about that, chatters. I didn't let the chatters get their time uh, in this to shine, really. There we go. So, uh, we were watching a streamer last night uh, called uh, Stealthy Golem play this game. Damn it, Flipshot, why are you over on there? Oh, God damn it. All right, well, there's Flipshot. Missed my game last night, but I skimmed through the stream afterward. Install Steam. I have it. We got it going. Uh, yeah, last night we played Bloodstained, which is sick as frick. Uh, Flipshot, thank you for that gift. Uh, the gifted game. Flipshot gifted it to me for... I don't know why. But it was a sick as frick game, and it will be continue to be played on this stream. Anyways, I'm all over the place tonight, everyone. We're going to talk about the music in this game. We're going to show you the music in this game. And we're going to play the goddamn game. That's a party waiting to happen. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's, uh, let's dive in. Let's have a great time. Let's have a great show and break. All right, more hot jams from this game. Oh, I better turn it down because there's uh, it's all the jams I had loaded up. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> it's not a full demo. It's a partial demo. They don't even let you see the beginning level where you're on the goddamn train, but that's fine. Uh, you didn't have to. You didn't have a tip option, but uh, so you got games instead. All right. Well, anyone who wants to tip me games now that I have the weekday format, uh, the chances of me playing those games just went up about four thousand percent. So uh, there is that as well. All right, Rad. If I was offered enough, uh, I would port it to the NES. Tell that to the boss. Is that is the master system was perfectly balanced? Three equally boring square waves. <laughs> Yeah, we it just, all right, the same sound, the 50% duty cycle, just go, go. Man, the 50% duty cycle is the bully of the NES uh, square waves. I can't believe the Sega Master System is like, just have three of them. Why not? It's my ear hole, it hurts. All right, Rad, if I was offered enough, I would port it to the NES. Tell that to the boss. Uh, port what? Uh, Dogen, I don't know what the hell you just said. Dogen, you're out of your mind. I love you, buddy. You're out of your mind, 100%. Playing the game starting now. Uh, let me just uh, minimize that. Let me minimize this. Minimize that. Minimize this. All right. Uh, game open. Game ready to rock. There's some... Uh, I, you know what I really like the developer did here? Added a bunch of crazy uh, options. The Retro City Rampage developer did the same thing. I love that. Uh, like what is Some of these things here. The Retro Filter. Turn it off or on. Are you out of your mind? Of course I'm going to leave this on. I love... When you take these raw pixels and you just mangle them. We're mangling these things. I don't know if that plays on stream very well. Uh, screen flash. Hell yeah, we want that on. I want all the effects. I love particle effects in video games. More! More! All right, I don't know what this is. Palette adjustment. But we don't need that. We're going raw dogging it. Okay, game start time. Okay. He's also uh, done a really cool thing here. Easy mode, and he tells you exactly what it is. A cozy evening in jail. Infinite lives, lenient hazards, more health, deal more damage, respawn from pits, less aggressive enemies, and higher power-up rates. I love this. I We don't need to be such a-holes where we're like, hey, every game has to be hard as frick. We want everyone to just be uh, upset all the time when they're playing our game. No, 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 no. Come on. You give the people the options. All right, now he's got easy mode, and then he's got modern mode. 
the default prison sentence. Five starting lives, aggressive enemies, and pow uh, balanced power-up rates. Classic just says, all right, you're going to be doing some hard time. Fewer lives, deal less damage, aggressive enemies, less power-ups, and an early 90s experience. The one you all remember, and the one that I would use my Game Genie for, frankly, to fix, because it's like, this game's too hard. I rented this, and now I'm sad. Then there's custom mode. All right, warning, this will dis disable all the achievements. Go ahead, I don't want any achievements anyways. Infinite lives, boom, 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 boom. Magnet chakram, on. Hal in vulnerable time. Look, these are, cr this is crazy. You want the uh, multiplier to be a 1.0, 1.1, 1 .1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I love that, God damn it. Let you tailor the experience the way you want. Uh, but we are gonna be playing modern because we're a modern gentleman, elegant and sophisticated. All right, these pixels are out of their goddamn mind, says Square One, and he ain't wrong. Uh, you know what, I'm listening to this, there's no song in the background. I might have to like pepper him with like a nice little loop or something. We need a loop, buddy! Where's the loop? All right, I don't know what Warden practice is, but uh, we're not gonna do that right now. We're just going into the game. Now, the original game starts with you uh, crashing. It's basically Escape from New York, only you're going into Detroit. <clears throat> Very similar storyline anyways. Uh, and uh, that you start out going in on a train, basically like Solid Snake style. <clears throat> Get in there, clean up this dump, as, as far as I know anyways. I mean, I don't have a lot of time to play the game because I'm making the music for it, but whenever I play it, I turn, I turn it on crazy easy mode where I cannot take damage or fall damage or anything because I'm just trying to record the game so I can... Uh, have something in the background while I'm uh, composing for it. But this is me playing it raw. We're going to play it raw right now. I've never played it raw. Anyways, the first mission, I think, is missing where you're on the train. So you just go straight in uh, to these three levels here. Rooftops, freeway, and cold god dang storage. Why don't we go for, uh, rooftops? One of the slower tracks I made for the game. Uh, and then we'll, uh, you know, if I, if I beat this level quick, that'll be fine. If we take forever, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to show the... The actual song in the project or the the program I made it in. And this is the luckiest man on earth. I can't get him. Out of hell with him. Oh god, grenades everywhere. Uh, no! All right, I already took one damage. God damn it. <clears throat> Dogan, you think that's a a bit? Uh, just a bit of that crappy RF blur. Just a bit, right? I want more. They should have. That's what thing he needs a fader for. You want this blur to be even more ridiculous? Yes, I do. I want it to be so blurry it looks like a TV. It like you would never play a game on that TV. You're like, no, I need a new TV. All right, these guys are a holes. Confirm. I probably could have got these power ups, but that's fine. Cold storage is the name of the guy. Uh, one of the guys who did the music for the early Wipeout games. You mean the ones that I got uh, copyright striked for? Oh my god. Body in motion kicks ass. All right, it looks like you can go down that hole, but don't be fooled. Don't you dare go down that hole. All right, so there's a little mechanic here where you have to jump and hold the the jump button uh, to hang on to things. That is a modern aggressive enemy. I think your chakram can also pick up items. Yes, it does. Right. Hey! Man, I'm out of my mind. Get the speedrunning community on notice. Hey, 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 uh, all right, not like this. Not like this, Rad. All right. I don't know what these are. I've been watching videos of the that the developer sent me. The C. What is the C? Is that like a checkpoint? Feels like a checkpoint. Des Whoa, Desi Bud, I looked at your chat for two seconds and then I got surrounded by robots. All right, all right. Uh, this is like Contra, Batman, Mega Man, and had a three-way, and they all shared birth experience with this game. What was the birthing song? Oh, uh, God, don't die. All right, I died. God damn it. Do I go back to the big C? Oh, man, I only got four rests left. Desi, you're basically describing uh, Freddy Krueger. Not like this, Rad. Remember Freddy Krueger's storyline? Oh god, this is gonna be hurt. Very hurtful. Oh, what the hell? Alright, what did I pick up here? Grenade mode. Can I throw? Oh god, yeah, I can blow things up if I want. Alright, well, we had to know. Very Shatterhand uh, style doors here that you can punch into oblivion. This guy's gonna kill himself. Ah, uh, hose. 
Damn, I'm almost hosed on my own. All right, we gotta go this way. All right, so as far as I can tell, every level consists of you going up and talking to an NPC, and they give you a key card, and then you can fight the boss of the level. Iroquois Simon here. Oh! Pal. Do you ever feel like you're somewhere you just don't belong? No. Oh. Well, here's the warden's key card. Oh, nice, that was sick. Yeah, great. So this is a little inside joke. Uh, the developer's working on a game called Simon Quest, a Transylvanian adventure. I think that's what it's called. Um, uh, and this is the character from that game. It's basically an homage to Simon's Quest, which I was actually playing earlier while my son was playing uh, Forza Horizon and Beam NG. My son likes to play racing. Oh, for the love of Pete's sake. And while he's doing that, I'm usually playing Nintendo right beside him on another stream. Hey, this could work out to my advantage if I go back to the big C. Hey! Nice. Alright, uh, I think we want to go this way. And take this sick shortcut. Can I get up on here? Hey! Nice. Okay, you just have to tap the button and then you stick to the wall. Alright, that's good. You don't have to hold it down. You might want to hold it down and then let go of it. Alright, alright. I love the graphics the uh, developer Program Answer did for this. It reminds me just enough of Batman, where it's like just really dark. Like a lot of black splotches everywhere. Rad, why do you want black splotches in your game? Because it looks six frick. Confirmed. Uh-oh. Oh, you gotta blow up the blocks before you can hang onto the wall. Floop! Alright, we're learning. We're about to be bested my first ever playthrough nope not like this it's it it's a crazy experience everyone to be playing a game that has your own music in it I wonder if I should even go up this way or if I should just go down onto that ladder all right if we hose this up gonna go down uh, the ladder next time not like this you're dead man oh I'm a dead man God damn it. all right he thought of everything the developer thought of everything oh we will be going back to play blood uh, stained Another night, as well as some more um, Death Stranding, but we gotta, we just had to squeeze this one in. I only just yesterday found out that the demo was out there. What a sneakster, yeah, I, I had it on lockdown. I felt like I was playing like a demon possessed there, Square, and then, you know, the whole thing hosed up. Hey! Mm -hmm. Holy lord, what a save. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just for some health? Mm -hmm. Alright, that could have, that could have been helpful another time. Not necessarily right now. Got Dumpy? Oh yeah, that's right, Dumpy and Bumpy, I think. That was the name of the, the game the developer made before this one. And now it's relegated to a sick uh, billboard in the middle of this dumpy town full of criminals. It deserved better, program answer. Hey! Hey! Alright, this time we got it unlocked. No, 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 not like this! Not like this. You're dead, Becky! Hell yeah. The hell's down here that's so tempting? Hey! Not like this. Alright, we're going to fight a boss. The Hind D? Alright, that's two unanswered hits right off the bat. Uh, what? Missiles! Oh, for the love of Pete. Now, keep in mind, everyone, I've only ever played this game with uh, infinite health and no fall damage. All right, let's try this again. All right, watch out for the missiles, everybody. Yay! This is not going well. Close call. 
All right, he's got the advantage here. The NES advantage. Ah, for the love of Pete. Get over here and face your destiny. Uh oh. Not like this. All right, this is where we pick it up. Oh, God. No, no, no. Grenades. I like the little explosion effect. What the hell's happening? Oh god. Oh, and I jumped right into one. I'm used to jumping over them. Alright. First boss in Super C on crack yet. Yeah. I don't remember missiles being shot at me. You guys remember me last night talking about how some developers are like, I don't want the game over screen to make you feel bad. Oh, not when Rad's playing the game. one makes you feel bad. Is this difficulty, uh, if this dis difficulty isn't suiting your play, it can be lowered or customized at any time in the game setup menu after selecting a file. That's how we do it, buddy. Let people know what the default is that you want them to play at, and then do whatever the, do whatever the hell you want. Alright, check this out. We're gonna retry because we can do better. And then after this continue, we're going to actually look at the music for this level. I need some power-ups, too. This is hosed, man. Get some goddamn power-ups here. Look at that gangsta. Alright, game over. If you ain't crap, if you're crap at games, play on easy mode exactly. You ain't nothing! Oh, not like this. Give me some power-ups, buddy. Nope. Goddamn. Nice detail with the fans in the background. I noticed Batman. I've been playing Batman. Uh, look, look at my guy's fanny pointing it right at you. Whoa! Let's keep that in the game for sure. Uh, I've been playing Batman while my son's been playing racing games also. I got close to beating it a couple times, yeah. Makes me feel pretty good. I'm not like a speedrunner or anything at it, but, uh, I noticed a lot of little details in the, in the Batman levels. Kind of like these fans. I appreciate little details in video games. All right. No, oh, not like this. All right. If I think I if I get three of those C symbols, then I get mega shot. And I want mega shot. First, all right, here we go. Carry on. Nope. Go! I what a rascal. All right, we're too deep. <laughs> it's kind of an odd mechanic. Ow! Ow! My fanny. All right, let's go get that key card. Checkpoint reach. Not like this. I'm out of my mind. Confirmed. No, oh, that's right. You fall down there. You're hosing it up. Is that a RetroWare uh, logo up there? It is. RetroWare is a publisher, I believe. Developer is Program Answer. Hey! Up and over, buddy. All right, we got one mega grenade. This should really help me with the boss if I can keep alive with it. Not like this. Get him before he gets you! Oh, I don't know what I got there. Some health? Alright, clear the path. Up and over. Alright, we've read this before. <clears throat> I almost have one of everything. Oh god, that was close. All right, speaking of close, this is going to be a tight squeeze. Not in your life, a-hole. Get him a body bag. Uh, no, wait, we've been here before. We don't need to go there. We do oh, no. I don't even know if I can get back up. Can I get back up from here? Holy lordy, not like this. We can't! Oh, God, don't make me go back and lose all my hot jams. 
Let me keep the power-ups at least. I want to show you guys Mega uh, Chakram. Oh, man. That's a bummer. That is a bee sting right there. At least I still have the grenade. Does this game have a totally messed up CRT filters like most retro games uh, wanting to do? Hell yeah, it does. I love these things. You can play it all jagged if you want. Why the hell would you want that? It's so jagged now. This is not the way anyone ever played a pixelated game back in the day. They played it like this. Welcome in Devin, by the way. All right, we got the hot dog, sick. Right. <clears throat> Six is definitely. We're gonna go fight the hind D with regular mode weapon. You know I didn't want that for us, everyone. I wanted big boy weapons. Well, I hosed that up. Well, what the hell's the point? That would have been my third one. Oh, man. All right, I'm gonna throw the mega grenade at him. It's our only option. I don't know how to avoid these shots. Got him. Tickled him. Uh, that was a couple of free shots right there. Oh, Jesus. All right, we're looking good. Sitting pretty. Get over here and face your destiny once more. Not like this. Nope. No! It does more damage if you hit the man. You got grenades? I got grenades too, buddy. I don't remember which button does it, though. Here we go. Okay, watch out for the grenades. Or the rockets. No! Oh, I forgot I have slide mode. Dudes, that was a game... Like... Play of the day slide mo uh, move. God damn, I don't even know what- I can't talk! It was just too good of a sick slide. You know what's crazy when I don't even remember writing this song? Looks pretty goddamn awesome. Thank you, Desi. I, uh, I think the developer's done a great job here. I- what the hell? Might as well just go full speed. This might be faster, even though it seems like it's weaker attack. And I even come close to breaking all of this stuff. Bonus failed. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch how... How in the hell does the developer do that one? Guys, that was Rooftops. Let's take a quick look, a little pause, and let's listen to the music from Rooftops a little closer, shall we? Alright, uh, let, let me... Minimize that. And then let me uh, open up the mixer. I think this will work. Mixer, Prison City, go down. All right, now mod plug. You can open up. Let's. Uh, what was it? Not uh, Pulse Pounder. Also, uh, buckle up, everyone. That's the only level I've actually beaten in the game. I think legit. Not the train. We don't have that one. I just need to see which track. Not Power Plant for the love of floop. Fine, we'll just go left to right. Rooftops. All right, here we go. Let's open up Mod Plug. Let me show you guys how you make music for a game like this. All right, I'm hearing sounds I've never heard before. I'm seeing double here, full crusty. All right, where's the elite hacking skills, Rat? I know, like, hold on, let me just open up the console real quick. Uh, the Windows shell real quick. It should be fine. All right, let me see if you guys can hear this. Yeah. Here's the song we just heard. All right. Coming to consoles too, we'll buy when it comes out, hell yes, yeah, Square Window. Ah, that's gonna be sick. And the soundtrack's coming out also, but I have to mix that for uh, CD releases. What's this one strand doing here? I feel like Elvis. Oh ho, good ho ho. Alright, yeah, the soundtrack right now, I think it's like 20 minutes long. 
We're supposed to be like 15 minutes long, but they just keep wanting more tracks. Like, I can't, I can't do it. Every track has to be at least a minute long. That is my rule. I mean, if it's a full length track. All right, now this is one of the slower tracks in this game. Uh, 175 BPM. Not very fast for this. Um, well, it's technically probably half that, but I have to do it super speed like this so I can fit as many echo notes as, as I can in. But what does Rad mean by that? What does he mean by echo notes? I'll show you right here. All right, an echo note is basically anytime you see one of these notes uh, here, like here's the main note. Let's go up to the top. Ah, uh, I want to echo that note somewhere later. So here's a uh, F sharp four, and you can see another F sharp four here at a 16 volume. If there's no uh, volume indicator here, it just means it's full volume, which is 64. So this is basically a quarter volume echo note way down here. And you hear how like those echo notes are in there? Now if you play it at speed, it adds a smoothness that would otherwise not be there. Allow me to demonstrate if you remove these. Uh, and I will add the volume of 16 there after, but let me just show you now without. Uh-huh. Bring them back in. It's a more pronounced sound now. Instead of like this long sounding thing. Uh, what sequences in software is this? This is a program called Open Mod Plug Tracker. It's a free program. Um, and if you want to make these type of songs, uh, it has no synthesizer in it. What it is is tiny samples. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, what is F22? So if I don't loop this, let me turn it off. This is the, the actual sample that I've brought in. And then you have to painstakingly go in and create your loop point. Alrighty, right here. Yay! Well, you can't see. Right! Yay! And then you have to add where you think the loop point will be. Zoom it in. Right here. And then it will loop between those two and just play it nonstop. Which is basically like how a sampled... It's early sampling technology, basically. Is this jury-rigged vibrato? Uh, no, this is straight up, uh, there should be no vibrato on this, Devin. Although it kind of looks like vibrato, but they call this a triangle wave because it kind of looks like a triangle. Now, if you guys are ever wondering why the, uh, the NES, uh, bass could only ever be on or off, allow me to demonstrate, uh, here. This is the bass. There's no volume. Notice how there's no, like, V32s or anything. That was uh, because the NES actually has a 4-bit uh, audio sound chip. 4-bit, meaning that uh, it can only have 16 values. So I know it's like, but it's supposed to be an 8-bit console. Yeah, but the chip for audio is only 4-bit, which means it can have 16 volume levels. Now take a look at here. We got uh, 1, 2, 3, wait, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You got your 16 values right there. To create a triangle wave, you need to use all 16 of your available um, values. And because of that, it can't have any uh, volume gradients. Oh! So that's why the NES um, bass lines just sound punchy. There's no up and down. So just bop, 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 bop. All right, you might be wondering, why don't you just use Famitracker, Rad? Well, the problem is, Famitracker, um, it just is not as smooth a program as this. Now, if I want, I could add a bunch of extra channels over here, which I sometimes do. And uh, sometimes if you're writing, you just pay paste stuff over here. It's a it's a muted channel. It makes no sound. But that way, I can leave it over there, make some changes. If they suck, I just drag them back in. And, uh, you know, that's an easier way to uh, write music, I find. Remember Ninja Turtles on NES being way louder than any other game. Uh, there is some, uh, sometimes, uh, if you use drum samples, uh, like this, uh, on the actual NES, it would, uh, d 
duck the sound or the uh, volume level of the triangle wave, believe it or not. I don't know why that is, but uh, so games that didn't use DPCM could be a little louder. I'm not sure if Turtles actually did that, but uh, anyways, that is basically uh, the rooftops level. And that's how we made that. Now, let's dive back into the game. Uh, boom. Let's turn the game back up. Hell yeah! Alright, welcome in, uh, Ultimate Humpy. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. We're playing a game I made the music for tonight. How insane is that? Alright, let's dive into Freeway. Uh, Freeway's kind of a fast track. It's a pulse pounder. White knuckle experience. Kinda reminds me of the Freeway levels in, uh, roller games, which I didn't reference, but... Mad Buck! Holy crap! Had no idea this is so damn cool. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I've been uh, writing NES chiptunes as a hobby for a very long time, and uh, it ended up spawning into a bit of a, a career as a games composer. I don't always write uh, chiptunes, uh, but when I do, they sound sick as frick. That is the goal. Right, see if I can get the mega power up here. Not like this. There you go. Oh man, we got hosed. Ah, oh, I got domed. It's basically my first time playing this level, everyone. So uh, don't judge me. Don't judge me on my sick as frick ability to get out of my mind. Good lord. No! I only got one hit left in my name. I have no C's either. I don't want to do the whole level again. All right, I wonder if we start here. Can't go in here yet. I guess we're coming back. I got the hot dog. Hell yeah. Hot dogs give me strength just like that in real life too. Nice job, brother. Thanks, Matt. Up. Oh. Hey, oh. Let's charge our banks, goddammit. He got a knife. Did you see the crazy look in his eyes? <laughs> No, not Ed 209. Oh, God, what is going on here? JRPG elements? All right, we had to know. This game really wears its Mega Man influences on its sleeve, and I like that. Well, definitely with that. Uh, this is like Mega Man X first level, right? It's a bit of everything, right? You got to do that these days. I mean, it's hard not to. If you, if you played these games back in the day and you're a developer or a composer, it's like you just can't avoid... It's just in your DNA at this point. There we go. I'm two C's deep. Not knife wielding charger pinks. Up there, buddy, and go. Oh, I guess we're falling down again. No, not like this. Wait, secret area over here. Oh, you thought you could hide this from me? Goddamn. All right, knife wielding Jar Jar Binks dispatched. Oh God! Sick moves. Nice, we got the key card. Easy does it. Hubert, a child? I may look twelve, but I'm actually a scientist who happens to be twelve. How? Doogie Hauser syndrome, right here. Right. Oh, I'll read it like a uh, snake. Right. Anyway, here's the key card, buddy. I'll open up the ramp uh, to the I-75. Be careful, Fury Roads is an inhumanly large and dangerous mutie with tastes for diesel. I guess that's short for mutant. Thanks. That's been a while since I jammed some chiptunes. Are, are you, were you into chiptunes, Humpy? Uh, you so badly want to jump over there and see if there's anything over there, but I don't, I don't want to lose all my C's. I'm stimming, bros. This is not a good situation. Hey, we got a grenade somehow. Are you telling me Doogie Hauser wasn't a child? Well, legally, he couldn't consent to anything. <laughs> the 
looks like a tough jump. Garp! All right, I need the three Cs. I want you guys to see how big the Chakram gets. Well, don't worry about it. I got the hot dog. All right, we locked it up. Uh, back when I was running through all of my childhood retro games, I jammed chiptunes on... Oh, no what? No worry. Or no kidding, man. That's crazy. Hot dog time. There we go. Up and over. Hey! Got it. Locked it up. All right, third C coming up. Boom! We got the big chakram. Look at this thing. God dang. Does this thing stay as long as I want it to, or what the hell? I know I've played this game several times, but I don't remember. All right, let's go fight the boss. I don't even know what the boss is at this level. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Oh, that's right. Good lord. Not like this. All right, so far, I'm doing all right. Damn it, not like this, Rad. I'm out of super juice. Oh, this is going to be bad now. He's just throwing guys off the truck at me. Hey! Dang it, I took one right on the nose. Frick, I guess I can't go up there. Oh, we were this close. Surely he consented to being an overworked doctor. You whiffed it. Oh, come on, man. Talk about whiffing it, now I have to fight this guy with basic pea shooter. Oh, okay, yeah, why don't you jump into him some more red? Oh, come on, what the hell? All right, I can't find the rhyme or reason for this guy. I'm getting my butt handed to me. All right, we might have faced our greatest challenge now. I should have got the job done when I had the big one. Oh, there's just four, four useless shots here. Four shots and a pause. Is that the pattern you're recognizing? All right, four shots and a pause. All right, I'll stay dodging. One, two. God damn it. One, two, three, four. Pause. Damn it. All right, there's no jumping. You just, if you jump, you hose yourself. Frick me. God damn it. Hey. Come on, more world records. Here we go. One, two, three, four! Frick me. I don't know what the hell to do. My hitbox is gigantic. You see how big I am? All right, uh, goddamn. Uh, what am I doing? I should be watching this on the old CRT. Uh, don't worry about it. We won't call it a whiff since you noticed it early. Devin's going to watch a CRT filter on an actual CRT. We gotta be coming back when that last one goes. That's just a free shot he gets on me. Hey! Hey! No! I can't, I can't get away. All I got was three hits on him there. I dodged that attack. I wasn't paying attention to my health. This is going to be outrageously difficult. Mom <laughs> spaghetti billboard. All right, it just turned Twitch 320. Now Rad looks like Rad looks the game. A pixelated bro. One, two, three, four, and backwards. Damn it. Frick me. Still only three shots, goddamn. He's straight up throwing dudes at me right away this time. I'm one hit away, goddamn it. Alright, well oh, no 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 no. 
Oh, he's got a goddamn BC Rich Warlock as the guitar. Frick, this is tough. I need to go get my three C's again. God damn it. Just tossing dudes off at you. <laughs> tossing them off. Okay. Get the hell out of there, dude! It's kind of hard because you have to shoot backwards, but shooting backwards makes you move backwards. Alright, that's still the most damage we've ever done to him on the intro. Alright, now we're getting the hang of this here. Now, ah, where are you going? Oh, god damn. Alright, what's it? Where is it? Where are we at here? One. Oh, god damn it. Uh oh. Hey! Hey! God dang! At least we got him down to halfway. A lot of these modern retro games lack inspiration, I think. This one looks like it's uh, one of the better ones. Yeah, I, the developer's got a really... He did this stuff quick, too, but I, yeah, he, he just has this stuff in his blood. He knows what he's doing. All right, the pressure's on to make magic happen again. What, one free shot. Love a peep. One, two, three, four. Hey, go, 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 go. All right, we got away with our dignity intact. Ah, oh, he got a free shot there. He shouldn't have gotten any. Hey! Oh, two free shots. Oh, I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. Oh, that's unfair. Bunch of rascals being rascals. Gonna rascal me? All right, well, if we get back to him with the uh, the three Cs, that's it. It's game over. It's game over, man. Now we didn't get a C there. This is a manic screen right here. Goddamn robo seahorses are coming after me. I think I got a little lucky when I beat this one the first time. I need some hot dogs and I need them quick. Hey, speaking of the devil, the devil's hot dog. Sounds like a good, a good song for Guar to play. Dang it. Don't you dare get me twice with those things. Ah, for the love of Pete. Whoa! We're close. We're down to the wire here, dudes. Hey, we made it. All right. Hell yeah. More hot dogs, hell yeah. I got the devil's hot dog in my... Alright, go. Three C's. We're gonna need three C's here, people. Man, I'm playing so damn sloppy. I'm like a goddamn sloppy joke. Oh, here we go. Might as well take full advantage of this. Hey! No, not like this. Son of a bee, little butterfly robot. Beck, Devil's Hot Dog. Does he have a song called Devil's Hot Dog? Why does Beck have a song called Devil's Hot Dog? All right, good checkpoint. Good call.
devil's haircut. Oh. Dang it. Oh. Not today yet, 209. Oh, come on! I bet you can get some sick shortcuts if you get up there. I'm not gonna lose to these butterflies again. Oh, deck! Alright. Dead, gone it. Right, we got one C to our name. Hey! Not today, Buster. Although there might be something over there at the bottom. Eh? Like a C? No, just a hot dog. Fine, I'll take it. I think that's Program Answer Symbol down there, isn't it? Not like this! Oh, I couldn't remember what that guy's move was. Still full health, though. All right. I don't think I'm going to get the three Cs, everybody. That's coming close. All right, we got to take a chance here. Because I had two Cs here last time. We got to do it. Ah, for the love of Pete. Had to know. Had to know! Got the key card at least, right? Right? Yes, I did. If I wanted, I could go in that door right now and get my butt kicked. No, I gotta go get some goddamn C's. I gotta get stimmed up, dudes. Now we're somewhere special. Forgetting I have that slide move. No C's. Use some damn C's. This is tricky. I don't think you're supposed to be coming backwards through here. There was no C's over here. Well, god dang. Where the hell did I get the C's from last time? I might as well just die and then go back. This guy has no idea what's going on. You're not supposed to be back there! Ow! It'll be interesting for the developer to see that, like, why? It's not the way the game's played, sir! Yeah, but I'm out of my mind. I scoot over there. That looks like a hot shortcut to some sick stuff. All right, well, we gotta get, here we go. Back to the door, we'll fight the boss, we'll beat him, we'll be heroes. Damn, even a grenade would help me out here. Can you slide down there? Uh, yeah, we slid down there and got killed. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Can I get back on the bike? Am I even allowed to go over here? How the hell am I allowed to go over here? Oh, these guys are holding out, hot dogs. All right, grenade time, let's go. A C. It's not what we need, we don't need that C. What we need, goddammit, three Cs. All right, two, maybe three tries to beat this goddamn boss.
Ay, ay. Dang, that one should have never happened. Dang, that one take a piece out of me. Damn, sandwich took a bite out of me. Oh, that one shouldn't have taken a piece out of me. Whoa, I got hit big time there. Frickin' god dang. No, 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 no. All right, what's coming up next? We could get lucky here. Oh, goddamn, one more hit. For either of us. Oh, God. Hell yeah, dude. Lock it up all day. Lock it the frick up. Boom. Stage clear. Mastery over time and space. Alright, thank you, Square Window. Alright, you know what? Let's check out the music from that level now. And let's have a great time. Alright, back in we go. Uh, what is that one called? I think that one is actually just called Pulse Pounder. Not the train. Um, Pulse Pounder. Here's the one, dudes. Let's open it up so you can see it. Alright, start it up. Let's see what the BPM is here. And this one goes straight up to 270. It's almost 100 BPM faster than the last track. But all we're doing there is basically... My quarter notes are further apart now is how... Is just what I did there. So I sped it up so that I could have more space in between notes. Hell yeah, juicy. Go down smooth like that bed's getting free. Bang and drum says square window. Let's listen to those drums just on their own. Yeah, a big thing I noticed uh, after working on games like uh, Shakedown Hawaii, I noticed like, all right, all right, if you want to make modern music, you got to have all these transitions and and you think about like EDM and all these modern uh, trap music. They all have these uh, like risers, like boom, dance, dance, bam, dance, bam, bam. They all do that sort of transition. So in an NES format, basically what I try and do sometimes is in the noise channel is create my own little risers. Wait, no, no, here we go. Alright, big old uh, cymbal hits here. Here, I just go... And so if you hear that in context now, it gives the... the it just gives movement, lots of movement. Seroy, you rascal, buddy. Getting here and getting Tino'd out of your mind. Thank you for that, Seroy. 25 goddamn muscles veining out of your mind. Uh, did you see my post, Seroy? I uh, think Seroy, you're out of your mind. And Tino, looking fine as frick. Um, did you see? Uh, I responded. It turns out, Seroy, the microphone I'm currently using, Seroy, is a Rode R O D E N T One Dash A. I'll type that in the chat for you. Road NT1 dash A. But I gotta tell you, C Roy, the big problem here is not necessarily what microphone you're using because if you want to use one of these microphones, you gotta have one of these connectors. 
And I don't think you have a sound card that can plug these in, do you? All right, I just got a HyperX Quadcast. Okay, maybe you do. Maybe you're taking this thing seriously now. Well, uh, this one, uh, you don't need to get a super expensive mic, but I would recommend getting a condenser mic of some kind. About 200 bucks would probably cover you. I have a cheaper mic in here somewhere. It's the one I use whenever I have guests, but about a $200 condenser mic, oh, you'd be sitting pretty. But um, what you want to do, the big thing is you want to have a compressor on your mic. If you don't have a compressor, here, you know what I'm going to, for our good pal Ciro here, uh, I'm going to give you a demonstration of what, uh, what it sounds like if I turn off my gear, all right? So, uh, C-Roy, um, a big thing is not just, uh, the microphone. The microphone will get, you need quality, right? If you have a terrible microphone, you can only do so much with it. But a good microphone, you can do a lot of sick stuff with it. <clears throat> but, uh, with a good microphone, I'd say this is a quality microphone. It's not as good as you can get. It's probably like, uh, I don't know. I, I think Dingle Dude give, gave me this one. I think it was like 400 bucks when he bought it. Um, but I am also adding a lot of compressors and things onto my voice. Now, a compressor is a thing where it's like, if your voice goes over this volume, compress it by a certain amount. And that way you can uh, you can get close to the mic without tearing people's ears apart. And you can actually uh, increase the mic volume a lot so that you can get a little further away from the mic and it'll it'll actually keep you as loud as you're supposed to be. And then the closer you get, you just turn, it starts compressing your mic. All right. Uh, but if I turn off my, uh, I have like a whole effects suite here with a gate. If I turn off the gate, now you can hear my son's monitor. Now what a gate is, is if anything is quieter than a certain amount, it just says cut it off and cut it off nice and soft. So it's not like, ah, oh, ah, ah, ah. so I turn on a gate so you don't hear my son's monitor. Uh, but then I also have an equalizer on here, which uh, equalizers, you don't need an equalizer, but an equalizer can kind of, uh, kind of just make it sound like you'd expect, right? So if I turn off my equalizer, this is what I sound like. That's not, uh, you know, if I, if this was all you guys heard, you'd be like, oh, it sounds fine. But what I'm basically doing is scooping a lot of the mids here when I turn the equalizer on. The mid frequencies. Because uh, those are the ones that tend to be boomy. Like, oh man, hey, Urad's getting in my ear hole right now. Oh my god, but what if I do it like this? Now I'm not quite so much in your ear hole. Uh, the last thing I have on here is a compressor where, uh, let's see if I get really close now. Does it really hose around? That uh, seems like a pretty light compressor, actually, all things considered. I guess you don't need to be compressing the goddamn hell out of your microphone. But that's about it, C-Roy. You're going to need uh, a couple of things like that. This is what EQ is. Yeah, take a good, good long listen. Oh my God, no! All right, but I do have other uh, compressors on as well. Now, see, Roy, a big thing that I'm also doing that you'll probably want to start doing. You can do it within OBS now. Maybe I'll walk you through it uh, at some point. But uh, uh, and I can, I can help you out, see, Roy, if you're still here. I don't even know if you're still here. Let me show you. Let's turn on a Prison City track. I'm doing a thing called ducking which is where whenever my microphone is making sound, it takes the audio of whatever, the game or the music, and it says, if I'm talking, lower the audio of whatever this is by a certain amount. It's called side chain compression. You cut your sibilant frequencies. I don't, but I could turn it on. Usually that's what the pop screen is for. Just cutting a little bit of the pu -pu and t t Oh, you guys hear this? You hear how it ducks the music? And then when I stop hosing around, the music lightly comes back and that's a way where you can turn your music louder uh, than it needs to be other than uh, the alternative would be to like not duck it and just leave the music down here the whole time which is fine but you know I, I tend to like it uh, when the when your voice comes in and starts ducking things it just has a nice uh, quality to it <clears throat> in case anyone's wondering why I would be using Cubase for all my stuff this is why because it just makes this stuff more like what I'm used to you can do it within OBS but I just don't feel like doing it within OBS all right, let's get back to the game. Shall we? Shall we do that? Boom, 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 boom. Hold on, let me turn the game up, or else we're sitting here in dead silence. All right, I find this all this stuff all fascinating. Yeah, it's pretty basic stuff. Like this is like year one audio engineering stuff that you learn. But uh, it's the bread and butter of the whole goddamn industry. Um. But yeah, if you get good gear, like C-Roy says he just got something called a HyperX Quadcast. I don't know what that is, but that probably has a compressor built into it. Uh, that probably has EQ built into it. It probably even has presets to make you sound good right off the bat. And it's good to have it as a hardware thing instead of doing it within software, because what I have to do with the software takes some of my bandwidth away while I, uh, from games that I would like to be playing and sharing with you all. Alright. 
yeah, it, it takes a long time to learn on your own to square window, but I basically just took you to like to year year two in audio engineering school. They really milk you out of that one. They're like, and that'll be twelve thousand dollars. Square window, that'll be twelve thousand dollars. I'm not even joking. That is how much audio engineering school got. I took five months of audio engineering school and I was down twelve thousand dollars. Okay, frick. No. All right, now we're going to the cold storage. And then we're gonna play some Wipeout after this. Right, Square Window? Subtly, this is one of my favorite tracks I made for the game. I think this one just really hit the mark. The mark I was going for. Oh, you'd like to get a piece of this, wouldn't you? No, oh, come on! All right, we got one C. Or one C deep. Yeah, this one just had a cold storage sound to it. Uh, I think this is, uh, the game... The one Golem was jam jamming to this level. Is there hot jams down there? Oh, God. Oh, there is! The whole time I was worried. What, me worry? Alright, what did I even pick up? I picked up a G and it did Jack Frick for me. Oh, come on. Like, there is a sewer level in the game that I've been having, oh god, a really hard time writing the song for. Um, so when you try to make a song for a level specific in an NES game, I just find it hard to do. Like, it's kind of your luck of the draw. Like, with NES music, you're lucky... You're lucky if the song writes it, uh, finishes itself, frankly, but... Um, you have to write a bit of the song before you can even tell if you're in the right direction yet. So, I got lucky with this one. Uh, well, do I, uh, is there a really huge difference between a 50 and 250 dollar mic as far as streaming goes? Not as far as streaming goes, I wouldn't think, because uh, you do have to compress the hell out of everything anyways. But, uh, yeah, there is a difference. 50 and 250. Um, but if you had good gear, like software and stuff, you can you can fudge some of that. But a 50 dollar mic probably is pretty low. I would say you probably want to get at least a 200 dollar mic. Uh, that'll take you pretty dang far. You want to have the audio and engineering degree uh, to bring home to mama, don't you? Pay up, buddy. Mom, I spent twelve thousand dollars learning how to use a sound, uh, like a soundboard. Uh, that was totally unnecessary. It, well, actually, what I was trying to do in audio engineering school was uh, uh, learn how to compose music, and that's not what they really do there. So I was in it for the wrong reasons. It is actually good to learn how to use a soundboard if you're going to get in the live recording. That was not what I was doing. Hey! Damn, I don't need no damn hot dogs. I need some more seeds. Oh god! Goddamn heat-seeking uh, stalactite. Oh, okay, it wasn't a hole in the floor. Go for it. Not today, buddy. Oh god. It's gotta go for it. Stop whining. No, they are in. Oh, my greatest foes uh, conspire against me. Checkpoint! Oh, that's not what we want. Oh god, not like this rat. Alright. I just got killed by Benny. I'm gonna squash you! Benny, scroll yo! Alright, that's fine. Call it a win. You whiffed it. Oh, we all are aware of the whiffing that has just taken place. Did I get a G? No, I got a C. Alright. Damn, this is the greatest enemy in the game. Alright, now we're in. Lock and load. 
Oh god, I forgot about this. Brad, you might want to pick up the pace here. Close call, everybody. Almost got bennied twice. Remember in Who Framed Roger Rabbit when the steamroller flattens the guy? That freaked me up as a seven-year-old. You're like, wait, 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 wait. No, this can't happen. And I remember there was a movie called The Lurkers, or just Lurkers. It was a really cheap, like, straight-to-VHS movie uh, that for some reason my dad rented and we watched. But a guy got his head crushed with a sledgehammer. And it was all dark, you could barely see it, but the, the idea that your head could get crushed by a sledgehammer, that was the first time I'd ever thought of that. I know exactly what you're talking about, Square Widow. Just had flashbacks there. What, 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 wait, what happens to your head then, if that happens? Um, you guys notice how I have breath coming out? I like that, it's a nice detail. Along with, uh, stop dust marks. Because I'm running so goddamn fast. Oh, not like this. Alright, I gotta go meet my robot buddy. No, nope, not yet. Alright. One more in the bank, everybody. A new checkpoint. Surprise, mother fricker! Hey, right, what the hell? All right, square window. Thanks for uh, popping in, buddy. Always a pleasure. Hey, you and me on the back of that sea, buddy. You know it. All right, in the '80s, when practical effects were still the standard, gore just hit harder. You meant uh, the thing. The thing from the 80s? Oh my god. I saw that when I was like five years old. That scene when they're all testing the blood and they're all tied to the guy that's turning all fricked up? Oh god. That still messes me up. His face gets all distorted. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Frick. I wonder if I can hang on that ice blob over there. All right, all right. There goes all my hot gains. Now I'm back to 1C. I mean, that might be price of admission right there. If you guys want, go to easy mode so you can just get all the Cs you want. Oh, I can hang on to that thing. Okay. Oh, God. Eh, not so hard. Still the scariest movie I've ever seen in your life yet. The thing? Probably up there. I don't, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't think of a scarier movie. The movie did isolation so damn well. You dare fire that gun at me. Damn him. Oh, he just went for it with gusto. Oh, God. All right, this is the most stressful area in the game. Jesus Louises. Is that an, a one-up? Hell yeah, I'll take a one-up. Two one-ups? Hell yeah. I'm out of my mind. That takes all the pressure off. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All the pressure off. All right, hey, robot buddy. Let's go. Hello, Al. I am robot. I figured. This facility was converted to keep the terrorists' fuel cells and sub zero temperatures, and as a result, they're stable. Dan, get Frank, and room temperature, they're also highly volatile. Oh? Here's the warden's key card. As you knew say, put some posterior, Al. Thanks. I'm gonna go kick some ass. I'm gonna go foot some posterior. Why the hell did the warden give that guy his keycard? Um, I don't think I should be going back through this. Does that make any sense? Is there a shortcut down here? Rage and, uh, Rage and Mage Stage. Uh, this is a fully released yet? The demo was pretty dope. It, just the demo so far. Hey, Rage, you know I make the music for this game. Hey! That's my music filling your ear holes right now. 
Uh, but yeah, this is just the demo. I, uh, we're just, ah, oh, goddamn. Still just playing the demo. There's gotta be a shortcut here. Why would they let me come all the way over here? Ah, uh, <laughs> Wait, no, this is the way I came. Ah, to hell with it. Oh, there's a way down. All right, here we go. Oh! Jesus, Louise has almost biffed that one harder than, harder than anyone could possibly imagine. Do we dare go down even further? Let's go. Ah! Did it. All right, it's go time, everyone. I've played this boss before. Ah, the developer's out of their mind. What a nut he is. We're ponging, bros. Oh, man, he hosed me. Score one, nothing. Pong is hard enough when you're not throwing chakrams. Aced it, hell yeah. The reason I've even heard about the game. Oh, well, thank you, Ray. I'm glad that, uh, oh man, we're twosies. We're too deep. I'm just happy that you know about it. That's nice. That, yeah, that's nice. You know what you're hosing with here, buddy? I'm, oh God, two apiece. All right, we're uh, in a bad way here. Goddamn Pong Assassin, you don't know who you're messing with here. All right, well, uh, lost that one. And this game is a love letter. Yeah, to, to basically everything. All right, we got four rests. I can do this. I can do this if I set my mind to it. Feels like this boss uh, out of Battletoads and Pong. Battletoads is so hosed. What, were the developers even having fun playing the game at that point? All right, we got to be in the game here. We got to read where the shot's going before it even gets there. No! Oh, he got right through. Did you see that? That was an amazing shot. Did not know who he was fricking with. All right, hose town. Bop, 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 bop. Straight shot. Three, one. And the competitors take the- Oh god damn- Not the- Oh! What, you stay on the goddamn wall! What the hell's wrong with you? Was that it? Did it do all the damage? Alright, well we got a grenade, we might as well use it. I might have to start jumping to get going faster. You know, unrelated everyone, I played Punch-Out while my son was playing PMG the other day. I'm basically just playing every Nintendo game I remember back in the day. On uh, my actual Nintendo. Punch-Out is amazing. You believe how big the sprites were on that game? It came out like 1990 or 87. You see that save? Straight down. Did it do anything? No. What a shot. What a goddamn shot. A miracle shot. I'm the miracle boy. Oh, the miracle boy's up 4-0. Fort love. Oh, ain't gonna cut it, buddy. Oh, these chops. Hey, snuck one by me. You hang on with for dear life there, buddy. Colonel. God damn it, Colonel. Holy smokes, that one was coming hot and heavy. 50 years later, we're back to playing Pong. Only this time, we're hanging on a goddamn great. And just doing great at life. Hey, Vale, what up? There it is, dudes. Thank you for infiltrating Prison City. Don't forget the wish list for updates. Wish list the game right now, everyone. If you're interested. We'll see you all in 2023. Hang loose, brah. All right, let's see what the... Get updates. I don't know what that is. Let me see what... Uh, what was there? Something called... Warden's Tests or something? I've been lurking. Had a dog pinning me down. <laughs> I'm not getting up for anything. Uh, slot two. Oh, is this like the... I don't know what the hell. 
Oh, this might be the one I've been playing from before. I have another version of this game on my machine. Don't play that version, everyone. So maybe I shouldn't go to ward and practice. Maybe, uh, maybe this is secretly I'm showing you more than you should see. Holy lord. That was fun. Let me, let me turn off all this stuff. Aggressive enemies? Off. Oh. Lenient level hazards? On. Respawn for pits? Sure. Here's what I want. Just give me maximum weapon all the time. Weapon energy usage. Down to one. Starting live, starting weapon. I'm a level 20 starting weapon, starting health. Oh man, I've been hitting the weights. I'm out of my mind. Shield power up duration. Sure, why not? Al in vulnerable time. I never become vulnerable again. All right. Only on Radland. Uh, bigger leaks than Sam and Death Stranding. I'm leaking? Uh, yeah, I don't want to accidentally pose everything up here. Hopefully this is what the actual game had. Oh, no, it should be the right one. Because in my version, I can play all these other things. All right, let's go see if we're just the strongest mf -er in the world. Only on Radland. What in the holy hell? Holy goddamn, look at my weapon meter. Well, I might not have mega attack, but I am strong as a mother fricker. It doesn't matter what I do, I can't even get this thing to go down. I can't hammer fast enough. All right, so let's hear the uh, cold storage chat. Let's wrap up this big bastard. Uh, Alright, let's get over here. Cold storage coming at you. The, the track we just heard. Ba Boom. Let's see the BPM here. This thing is screaming fast. 298. And the reason I stopped there is because Cubase can't handle over 300 BPM, so I wouldn't be able to import the MIDI in. Now why, Rad? Why would you want 300 BPM for a track that's not very fast? Because you notice I want my notes to have so much space in between them. So let's see, here's in between like the drum hits. You start here and then the next hit is 16 rows down. So the reason for that is so I can add all these echo notes inside. Let's take a quick gander at just this channel here. Let's slow it down. Alright, let's take a little gander at what's going on here. A little volume decay and then a sharp cut off here. Then the echo note from the actual note before. So it's not even that crazy of an echo. It's not an Iku Mizutani echo. The guy from Shatterhand would echo notes from way up here all the way down here like a nutcase. Um, but then let's gen gradually speed it up. This is what like when you get the fuzzies in Yoshi's Island. Bail, I don't know the hell you just said. Uh, in either regard, I've never played Yoshi's Island, and I don't know what the fuzzies are. This is like one of those levels, the cold storage was a very dark level. And so I wanted it to have like a, kind of a dark track to it. And so I have the, the high pitch notes here to symbolize like just ice crystals. Like where are they? These are like ice crystal-y sounds, right? Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to have a lot of space in between notes. So listen to the uh, bass here. Like actual hard cutoffs. Empty. Empty. And so in those empty notes, I just added a bunch of echo notes for the square wave, which kind of accompanies the bass. Yeah. Uh, you should play it, but maybe wait a couple years for Baby Boy Rad to be up to the challenge. I'll just let him play it. Like, let him play all the games I never played. Oh man, Console Cold War would have a whole new meaning if I just made Baby Boy Rad play 
all the NES games, or not NES, uh, Nintendo properties. Actually likes them. Uh, the guy I bought my Wii off of, um, he left new Super, Super Mario Brothers in it, so it was just a free game, he didn't even say it was in it. But Baby Boy Red loved playing that for no reason. It's not even a very good Mario game. Although, of course, Miyamoto has all sorts of goofy crap that is so endearing. And all the enemies do dance moves to the song in certain spots. Ah, oh, come on, man. And you call yourself a SNES kid. I don't. I was a Sega Genesis kid. I didn't get an SNES till uh, right about the time the PlayStation was coming out. Yeah, and then I had to sell. I think I sold... I must have got it like a year, uh, maybe two years before the PlayStation came out, but I sold my N SNES to get money to buy a PlayStation. That's how committed I was. I was in. All in. Two thumbs. In. I sold Final Fantasy 3 to a kid. I sold all the... Uh, Chrono Trigger, all of it. Didn't keep any of it. The only thing I kept from my childhood was Mega Man 3, for some reason. It was the only cartridge I have that is actually from my childhood. Everything else got sold for the uh, PlayStation transition. All in. Alright, everyone. We listened to some tunes, we had some great times. Uh, there we go. No, we don't need this guy for the third time. Although, do hit the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube right now. Hit that subscribe button! Me and that tiny rad don't want to have to give you tiny fists of fury, but we will. Goddamn title screen going here. Return to title. Alright. Oh, sick. I don't know what this QR code does. Scan it at your own peril. Probably just goes to the website. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. That's been Prison City. It's going to be fun as hell. It, it is actually genuinely fun to play. And I'm a craggly old man that hates almost everything. So me playing that seemed like it was actually a fun game. Thanks for watching, everyone. I have to I have to do this or else I just will never leave. I'm gonna lower myself. Fred's gonna swizzle us off. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Fred, thanks for watching, buddy. Alright. Eh. Eh. Ah!